everyone the minimum order quantity website app helps user in selling a product and will lead you to decrease in the inventory accumulation now let's get into the inventory and create a new products to see how it actually works so for that let me get into the inventory under products we can see a products so where we can see a list of products that we have already created so let me get into the one of the product so let me choose this product so in this product form there will be an option name minimum quantity order so where we, the user needs to define a minimum order quantity that the customer can buy customer can buy a minimum order quantity or more than that but if the customer tries to buy and less than the minimum amount which we have mentioned here it will raise an warning so for that let me get into a website and see how it actually works so for that let me get into the website and from here we can see an option named shop so from here let me choose and product okay where we have apply and minimum quantity now let me get into the particular product yeah so this is the product so which we have added a minimum quantity so let me get into the product okay let me get into the same product that we have created yes so for this product you can see i have added a minimum quantity as two so this is the product so if i try to reduce the product quantity so you can see it will be access denied it will show the minimum quantity is two like the same way at the time of adding the particular product to the cart so when i try to process checkout at that time so if i try to remove it you can see there will be an uh, access denied option is available so it will show and minimum quantity is two so like the same way we can uh, see the same thing in the back end as well so let me check the same from the back end so for that we need to get into and sales so let me get into the sales now okay so from here we can see end sales let's create a new sale order by using and create option which is available here now let's choose the customer so from here we need to select the product so for that let me choose and product which i have added a minimum quantity so you can see it will automatically take minimum quantity as two as we have mentioned a two quantity is an a minimum quantity okay now if i try to change to one quantity it will raise a warning like uh, it will have the minimum quantity as two but we have changed that quantity as one but in case if i save it you can see the quantity will be changes to two so in this way we can make use of this module and acknowledge the customer to order with the minimum quantity thank you for watching